Okay, today we'll be comparing Celsius and Fahrenheit. They're two different systems of measurement. So if you look on the Fahrenheit scale, the water freezes at 32 degrees, but on Celsius, water freezes at zero degrees. And the normal body temperature for Fahrenheit is 98.6 degrees, but the normal body temperature for Celsius is 37 degrees. In the Fahrenheit, water boils at 212 degrees, but for Celsius, water boils at 100 degrees. So they're just two different systems for temperatures, okay? So which temperature is warmer, zero degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius? So if water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, and if you go down 32 more degrees, it's going to be colder. Uh, number two, which temperature is colder, zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, so if, they, if water freezes at both that exact amount, then they're pretty equal. Number three, at which temperature would water boil? 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius? So water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, or if you went to 90, it's below where water for, uh, boils. So it'd be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna let you do the last two on this sheet. Number four, our screen, number four is the normal, what is the normal temperature of the human body in degrees Fahrenheit? Well, I already gave you that. And number five, about what is the normal temperature of the human body in degrees for Celsius? So I gave you both of those. So I'm gonna let you work on the following questions. I'm just gonna read them. Number six, how far from freezing is a 50 degree reading on a Celsius thermometer? So here's 50 degrees on Celsius and water freezes here. How many degree difference is that? How far from freezing is 50 degrees on the Fahrenheit thermometer um, from freezing? So you would subtract 32 from 50. Number eight, would you be colder at a Celsius reading of 50 degrees or a Fahrenheit reading of 50 degrees? Number nine, would you be warmer at a Celsius reading of 100 degrees or a Fahrenheit reading of 100 degrees? Number 10, which temperature is more comfortable for a human, zero degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit? Which temperature would you find less comfortable, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius? And number 12, which temperature would prevent snow from melting, 25 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. You're gonna look at this graph and just see it's 12 days of March and it's colored in and I have a copy for by your questions as well. So like let's say March 1st is zero degrees, it's wherever it goes up to. Uh, March 2nd was negative 10 degrees and March 3rd was zero degrees, okay? So that you understand, and remember that this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. Okay, so I'm gonna let you look at the graph and figure out your answers here. So number one, which two days in March were the coldest? Okay, so you'd look for the lowest, the smallest amount of boxes and go to that date, okay? Number two, which day was the warmest? So it'd be the tallest one, right? Whatever day that was. So if they ask you which day, just put the date. So it'd be March whatever, okay? Number four, which part of the month had the warmest temperatures, the first six days or the second six days? And just look at the different temperatures of each day. Number five, how many days were 30 degrees or lower? So you'd have to go to 30, and if anything was not marked above it and only below it, you'd go to those days and count them. Okay, so number six, how many days were zero degrees or below? So here's zero degrees, so it either has the box by zero or lower. 
And number seven, how many days were 30 degrees or higher? So you'd have to go to 30 and it'd have a box by 30 or above it for warmer, okay? If you like my channel, please subscribe.